Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So today we're going to jump straight into a contract. We've got all of our mechs except for the Atlas fixed. The Atlas was uh, stuck as a turret last time on a hill. So it took a fair bit of damage. It's got a bit more work to go here before it's back in service, but that's fine. Um, we're going to have a look at the command center. Now, uh, someone said I should go after a Ragzilla and, uh, you know, put it together as kind of like the final episode for the uh, series. Now, I've never played Operation Beautiful Day. Max pay 7 million, 416 salvage. I have no idea what this is. So I'm thinking maybe that, like, depending on what this mission is, this might be the last one that we do for this series. I don't know yet. We'll see how it goes, but we're not going to play this one today. Still got some time before that happens. But uh, Pride and Vanity, is it Pride and Vanity I want to do here today? No. Heavy Lure. That's uh, Clan Jade Falcon against Clan Wolf. Uh, have extremely heavy mech with Wolf Heraldry standing out in the open. It's obviously a bait for a trap, so we're going to go in and we're going to smash all these guys. So let's negotiate this. Straight up battle. 313, 485,000, which I do not think is going to cover our damages here. Let's accept this. We're going to have to do some stuff for Clan Wolf after this, I think. Alright, so our primary lance I think was okay. Now, um, let's get our... Where are you here? Where is the Zeus? Here we go. Uh, let's get our second lance, Hellion, uh, Gundal, uh, Mastodon, and Workhorse. Okay, let's get these guys into play. Now, i got to decide what I'm going to take here. Now, this, it's like I said, it's been a while. ER Large, Large Heavy Laser, Rotary AC2, Large Heavy ER Large, and that's it, eh? So I don't know about that one. Archer, I think the Archer did well last time, so let's bring that down. I'm going to drop it. Uh, let's give it to Workhorse again. Um, now, the Kaiju, this is the Heavy PPC Risk ER PPC on both arms. Now, these things do what? 80 damage? 75. And we got the PPC capacitor on this thing, right? PPC computer, yeah. So... Uh, let's give that one to Gundal today. Now we got this Atlas. This is the uh, Rotary 20, Rotary 10. I don't want to mess around with this one. Uh, this could be good, but I don't know. The Gauss rifle. Yeah. Ballistic triple plus. Plus one accuracy, minus one recoil. I don't know if that's going to cut it this time. Night gear, well, we uh, wait a second. We have to bring the night gear in. Wait, this is the LRM 20. Yeah, this is our, we need our, we need, we need this guy. We need the AMS. We can't not go with the, uh, with the AMS here. Now, we want to give Goofy something here. Now, this is the Ultra 5 version. With the tag Barrage. I don't think that's... MMM, MRM 10s, and an Ultra 5 in each arm, I believe, right? Yeah, 45, 90, 180, and then the possibility of another 100 plus the barrage. I think the night gear is probably more versatile for indirect and direct firing, whereas this is all direct fire. The second Naga with the arrow. And the AMS. Yeah, I don't think that's going to cut it either. It just doesn't have enough firepower. I think we'll go with what we have. Although I do want to get... Um, this guy in a, in a battle at some point again too. No, I think we're good. I think we'll go with what we have. This is all scattershot. How many do we have here? We've got two and a battery. Two and a battery. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, these are kind of okay. Once again, it's all scattershot, no pinpoint. Um, yeah, 
No, let's go with what we have. I think we're good here. All right, time to let these guys know what's up. See what sort of trap this is, eh? Stay alert, stay frosty. Well, that's, uh, okay. We knew there was gonna be a lot of guys. I think whoever takes this hill is gonna win this battle. So let's go ahead and make sure we do that. Uh, and not open ourselves up to getting punched in the face right away. We can avoid it. Let's hope you can do some good work this time, girl. Not get your ass overheated. Sorry, not let me get your ass overheated. <laughs> uh, okay, we know where you need to be. Where are you right now? Okay, let's get back over here. Uh, in the trees though, please. And because I'm not one to, to not take advantage of an early situation. We know roughly where the guy is, so let's uh, tell him we know he's there. Okay, we know we didn't hit him. We got some splash, I don't know. We may have got some splash on him. Alright, you need to be up here. Let's get that uh, AMS Mark II on overload. Where are we here? Thank you. Because, you know, I forgot to do that last time. Caused a few early problems. Nothing amazing, but a few early problems. Okay, Goofy. Um, getting you close would be bad to start. Let's just pull back here. We're going to bring you around this way. You're a little faster than everybody else. We'll get you up here flanking. Hi, right, Lulu Dallas. We need to get you in direct fire position. We'll move up here. Standing by. You can hear everybody saying, dude, you're bunching up, you're bunching up. Yeah, I'm bunching up. First turn. We're in a friggin' narrow zone here. And if we want to get shots on the enemy, we gotta do this. Alright, you need to get up close too. Get in front of Lilu Dallas. It's weird. Sometimes the enemy. Oh, we got sight on now. Let's kill the hybrid if we can. Ooh, it's a terrible chance to hit. Uh, I'm going to leave this off for now so we get a better chance shot at him. But let's see if we can deal some heavy damage to this guy. Okay, couple of hits. Structures exposed. Tags on. Beautiful. Maybe we can get Gundal to finish it off. The one bonus about having the the kaiju that Gundal is, or the, sorry, the king crab that that um, Gundal is uh, carrying, is that um, he doesn't have ammo, which I think I'm going to have to consider for that other mission we were talking about taking. Um, I want to go. Let's see if we can get lucky and finish this guy up. It's doubtful, but let's try it. Oh, we got a hit on him though. Stripping armor. Stripping armor. He goes on 18. Now, did he go already or no? No. This guy went. Heavy artillery vehicle. All right, well, we got some eyes on now. Guess who's taking the rack? Don't know what this guy's got, though. Guess we're going to find out. We're on round 17. Let's see if it's him. Now they got at least 20 guys here, so... Um, Hopefully they don't get reinforcements. Hopefully it's just these guys, but chances are they're going to have another Lance. So 25 guys against 8. Vehicle didn't look like it took any damage. Now we landed a couple of shots here, right? 
So I'm not seeing anybody. Uh, he's deciding to move in for suicide here. He's like, I'm coming, guys. I'm going. I'm in a dire wolf. I'm going to be the scout today. <laughs> you be the scout all you want, buddy. Oh, he looks like he's taking a little bit of damage here. So he may have gotten hit by the air. A little bit of splashback damage, maybe. It looks like a, just a sliver here. Okay, some splash damage. That ripped up a bunch of armor. That's a Copalopolis. Looks like he's taking a sliver of damage too. Yeah, well, he's going to be taking some serious hits in a minute. Took a hard hit there. Guys, dial it back. Major armor lock. Cut the chatter. Not much armor left. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Cut the chatter, guys. Come on. Oh, what's this, an archer? Orion. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm going to mispronounce Orion for the rest of my life. Orion is... <laughs> it's just too funny not to say. Oh, somebody moved up. Oh, ouch. You think? Oh man, that was a heavy hit. Exterminator. There's probably another lance back here is where they showed up. At least they're not on the hill that I could tell anyway. If we can get up here and fire down, we're going to be in a much better position. We just got to get up there. Naga, okay. That one tagged me good. I'm losing armor bad. Losing armor. I'm under heavy fire. Okay. That was a hit. Oh god. Got the chatter. So I'm gonna say this now, because I don't know what the next like what osmium is like the new version of Rogue Tech. But I mean, the original version, I was like, oh man, Rogue Tech, it's kind of like Brawl Bots. And then I was all like, oh, Rogue Tech, it was, you know, it's, well, I don't know what I was, the hell I was saying, but I was saying Brawl Bots before. This guy's got to go. Um,. Sorry, I gotta think about this here for a second. Direwolf, hybrid carrier. That's a Copalopolis. Okay, we're gonna do a multi-target here. I wanna see if I can get two. So we're gonna go after this guy. I'm gonna go after this guy. Um, this is gonna go to be maxed out. Um, and I'll switch this to B because hopefully we can catch some of these other guys. And everything I'll go I'll, uh, blah, 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 everything else will go to A. Here it comes. Beautiful. Well, there's uh, a lot of guys back there. Okay, beautiful. Two down. We're gonna have to play a lot of this. Oh come on. Let me select here. Let me select it. There we go. Just takes a second. Confirm. Okay, so before I was saying you needed to be like was like mostly brawl bots. That's where all your damage was coming from. If you had a melee mech, it was brawl bots, right? Like you just get in and fight. This time, imagine if I had a melee mech. Just even if I had two, I ran in, I attacked this guy, and then all of these guys shoot me, like all of them. What do you think the chance of a melee mech surviving this would be? Probably very, very little, right? Christ, we're going to be in trouble if we don't kill these guys fast. Alright, um... That was a hot hit. Losing armor. Dire star. 
That's bad. He's got to go. He can't shoot at us. So we have we have to do this. He can't. This guy can't be shooting. Acknowledged. That guy cannot be shooting. Um. So, yeah. So originally, like you know, Melee was the king. Could you I mean you remember that? You remember our Black Knight, right? That thing murdered stuff. Like it murdered stuff. It was so tough to. Um, to uh, destroy the guy too. Um, I'm gonna do this because I got a sprint, and then we're gonna. Uh, I love this mech because I don't have to worry about flames on the way. It's like, yeah, I got flames on the way. So what the fuck? So what? As much flames as I can take, baby. Uh, let's get up here. We got to start getting some height, or we're gonna be in trouble here. Okay, so. Naga. Don't know what it's got. Not enough to get on there though. What's this guy? The dire wolf? It's got a lot of ECM going on I think back there. So now it's like, wow, really? Okay, let's just do this. I can't multi-target. I gotta fire out one or the other. Let's just shoot this guy to start. Engaging target. Wow. Whole 16 points damage and a tag. Lovely. Um, so as I was saying, before it was the melee. You know, if you had two or three lances that you were fighting, you could deal with it, no problem. But now in a mission like this where the main guy's in one spot, plus he's got three additional lances, so you have 20 guys, you just can't run in. I mean, I guess if all of my mechs were melee and we all ran in at once, you're gonna take severe damage. Like you, most likely, every battle you're gonna one of your mechs is gonna drop because they're like when you as soon as you get close, they're just gonna hammer you. I mean, if, yes, if everybody have had ECCCM or ECCM going, it would be helpful, but I don't think it would be enough. I just don't. But anyway, that being said, uh, let's get you going. Um, now it's all artillery. If you have the best artillery, like you could just stand back and shred the enemy. Now I don't, I'm not opposed to artillery mechs. I think that's kind of cool and it's kind of a way to help offset. This guy's fortified too. Um, let's just shoot him. Let's not shoot him. Let's pretend we shot him. We can't afford that. Trying to spread out a little bit here if we can. Um, but now it's just apply artillery, and, you know, liberally apply artillery and see how it goes. Um, how much hydro do we have? 240. Thirty-four. Yeah, we got to get up higher. Dire Star Prime. That's just a regular carrier. We don't have the best chances to hit. Okay, I know what we're doing. Um, No, nah, I don't think getting up the hill is going to make a difference. Let's just straight up attack him then. Bad chances to hit, but we're going to take it. Get some heat on this guy. Okay, a few hits and spilled over it looks like. Nice. So yeah, now it's like, I mean, art, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't, I'm hoping Osmium's a bit more balanced. 
Because the sheer number of artillery support vehicles, now I know in real life that's kind of how it would be if you think about it. Why would you want to engage a mech when you can get somebody with a tag on them and then just go ahead and um, rain artillery down on them? It just makes the most... Can we not get up that way? Oh, I just don't have the movement. That's what it is. Just don't have the movement. Okay, we don't want to get you in direct fire just yet. Uh, let's get back here. And then let's... Um, Let's go after this Hetzacopolopolis. We've got to get rid of this guy, so... We'll have some damage liberally. I mean, I don't know. Like, every vehicle here looks like it's an artillery support vehicle. Which, you know, in a way makes sense. But then again, you know, I should I should I shouldn't be saying anything. It's also probably going to depend on uh, what difficulty you're on as well. Let's supply liberally. Target acquired. He's going to take another turn, but looks like we slowly began to penetrate the internal. Got it. As long as we're out of direct fire range, we're going to survive a little bit here. We're going to have to take the artillery hits. Okay, two misses. Beautiful. That's the Orion, though, so it's probably an, an AC, an Ultra 10 or something. All right, who do we want? Yeah, he's got one ballistic, so most likely it's an ultra. This guy's got a pair of arrow fours. Lots of armor, so we're not going to do a lot of damage to him. This guy's really close. He's got those uh, HA-40s, though. He's fortified. Highlander. Who do we want here? I think we want a multi-target to max out our damage. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, where's that Naga? It's this guy, right? That's the Highlander. That's the Orion. Yeah. Put those on B. And the rest to A, so let's do that. Okay, looks like they both hit. Beautiful. Okay, two hits back there. This is not the best position. Not the best position. All right. So we're still only down. We've still only got two of them. See what I mean about the direct fire? Like, could you imagine if you moved in? Now that you negate the artillery vehicles, but we've been doing a really good job of killing the enemy at long range. Could you imagine if they were able to use all their close range weapons as well on us? It would just be a nightmare. Like a nightmare. Even if you, like, let, let's say you had a mech and you had the maximum damage reduction you could possibly get on it, which I don't know what that would be. Let's say you had a shield, minus 15%, right? You had the, um, let's say you had the Feral Lamellar, is it Feral Lamellar that gives you the minus 10% armor? And then the shoulder modifiers that give you minus 5% each. So that's like what? Minus 25, 25, 35 Minus 35% damage. Let's say you could get it up to minus 40% damage. That's still not going to be enough. And if you had a 100 ton mech to max out the amount of armor you did have, right, I'm a lot of armor here. you'd need a big engine and a mask to be able to get in close fast enough 
and then if they overheated you could you imagine if they overheated you when you got in close it's like then what do you do you you punch somebody for 100 damage or something and then they kill you so it's all situational i know but still it's like it's tricky. I, 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 I really don't envy the people that are trying to balance this game because it's so hard to do, right? It's so hard because there's so many variants of stuff, right? There's so many variables, different versions of mechs, different versions of vehicles. Like, how do you... And then you don't know what your, uh, your player is going to have. All right, next phase. You just have no idea what to, how to balance it, right? So... The, the difficulty sliders, the number of steps in it, I totally agree with that. You need a lot of difficulty steps. And we're not, like I said, we're still, oh, they're at the top. We're still five um, difficulty steps away from max. Could you imagine this is max difficulty? All of the max would be 100 tons. The vehicles would all be like 100 tons. It would just be ridiculous. Okay, so we've got two guys that we can probably take down this turn. There's that Naga. We got the Dire Star. Rawr, rawr. We don't have a direct line of sight. Uh, so let's hold off with you. Oi. Do I have a direct line of sight to anybody from here? I do. That's a pretty good chance to hit on that guy. Let's just cycle through this here. That's a good chance on this dire wolf. Bringing the arrow online for one of these shots here. Naga. Although I'm thinking it's going to be this guy. Thinking if we can clear the guy closest to us. Let's hammer him. We're going to get a side shot on him, so let's hammer him. Let's soften him up for our teammates here. Looks like that spilled over onto some people. Can we... Can't get into cover here. Just back it up, back it up. It's because Hellion's standing in the way, that's why. Uh, we need to get you up this hill, girl. I don't have enough, uh, damn, minefield on the way. Okay, we're going to dial this down a little bit. Don't want to jam this early. Not for a wild shot like this. Take a shot in this guy. Ooh, they all hit. Streak didn't hit, though. But that's fine. She may have to speed these guys are going. She may have to face that lance up there alone. Okay, heads to Um Wow, look at these arrows. Who can we shoot today? Oh, we got... What is this? Where are you? Castile, okay. Um, it's taking a lot of frontal damage. That's the carrier. Highlander. Dire Star R R. Is he in the center of everybody? He's kind of not. Well, he kind of is. I think we got to keep this guy shut the fuck up. Okay, it did spread it around. That hit something good. Yeah, thanks, man. That is definitely appreciated. Keep your asteroid going up this hill. I copy. So he shut up, I think, for a while. 
He definitely didn't fire last turn. I have no idea what his heat gauge is, but we pinned to the internal, so we might split, split a Hydra off onto him and try and go after this Hetzacopolopolis if we can get rid of that thing. Nice. That was probably the Orion. I think we fire and then maneuver. Uh, can we get a kill on the carrier? Oh, I don't think so. What's our best chance to hit here? 28 was the carrier. I don't think the upper lance is going to be that difficult to kill. Famous last words. 47 on the chopper. That's the artillery vehicle. I think we try for a kill in the Hetzacopolopolis. 40 on the Naga, that's not bad. Let's try for a kill in the Hetzacopolopolis. Gonna use everything because it needed 100 internal damage on it. Yeah, not a kill, but good damage. Good damage. Get your ass up this hill, boy. If we can get direct line of sight on somebody. Damn. LRM 100? Well, 70. Wish it was 100. Okay. Keep sharing the damage. It's fine. Let him share the damage with everybody. Not keep, let's not let them keep shooting at their important guys down here. Our heavies have got to get the asteroids up this hill. Right yeah, I can see that. At least they're spreading it around. Stealthy motherfuckers. Infiltrators. We're stealthy motherfuck. Oh, oh, they hit this guy. Beautiful. Thanks, man. That is definitely appreciated. Now, if I sprint... I can't shoot anybody. They got us down here, that's for damn sure. Oh, man. All right. Well, Dire Star Prime. Now I'm thinking we're going to be shooting for the guy right in full. That's actually pretty good chances to hit. I don't know if we can't not take this shot. He's taken some CT damage, a little bit of arm and torso damage, but he's fortified here. Although he's unstable, so he shouldn't be. Um, Wait. Oh, okay. I thought I had to activate that PPC capacitor. I guess not. Or the I guess it's just targeting. Ah. Uh. Gonna put tags in the dire star. Wow, we hit this guy back here too, I think. The tags missed. Figures. One thing I was hoping would hit, missed. How are you doing for armor? You're alright, let's move up into here. We gotta get past this section and get up to the top here. Just don't have the speed. 
and our AMS is starting to fall behind here. We got to get you over here. Wait, is that our AMS? Yeah. That weren't much. I think our overload is uh yeah. is off. Okay, we're gonna do a multi target here. We're gonna drop one set of hydra here and one set of hydra here. Hey, why just let me turn you on? Ah, yeah, whatever. I'm sure it's automatic. Um, yeah. Fire. Come on, there you go. Look at that. See ya. Crit damage on this guy. Crit damage on this guy. Badass. That's what you missed. All right. Well, we can't get into overload range with the, with, uh, the Zeus, unfortunately, but we will next turn. I don't know. You know, that Zeus has got a... It's a good balanced mech. It's got a good combination of firepower and speed. Okay, let's get into here. Roger. We're going to go after this carrier, I think. I mean, we could go after the Dire Star, but I don't think it's going to be enough. I don't think this carrier... Oh, wow, that's terrible. Uh, switch back to standard for a second. I, mean, second, I just want to see what the chances to hit are here. Just because it's indirect, eh? Well, a little better on this guy. He's got a lot of armor, though. That could be a knockdown if we go after this guy. Want to knock his ass down, I think? Well, you know what? He's not doing anything next turn other than fortifying. I think we try and take some guns off the board and let's see if we can drop some on this carrier here. Alright, well. At least, this at, least, at least this large blazing inferno is helping uh, overheat any mechs to try and come forward on us here. Okay, who do we got left? I think that was it. Now we got Dallas left. She can attack this guy, though. Look at that Highlander's deciding to move up. Orion's getting brave, too. I think they know that if I take this hill, they're in trouble. Oh, Artie vehicle. He's moved in. Yeah. He's also moved himself into a position that we can shred his ass. Oh, he's gonna fire. Rapple bore. I fucking hate those things. I can see that. Yeah, we should have knocked his ass down. I didn't think he was gonna shoot. Not with that much instability. Okay, we need to deal with the indirect fast. Then we can play Pop-Tart with these guys. This is not going to be good for the sea build damage, that's for sure. That was just Direwolf. 
two nuggets back here. I think there's another one over here, right? Yeah, three of them. Exterminator, catapult. Ow. God damn, man. Getting clobbered here. Oh, man. I think we got to go where we can apply damage. I think we got to go where we can apply damage here. Really want to get this guy though. He's direct fire though. Let's just. This guy's got an ultra 20. Two hits, beautiful. Back it up. Back it up. We should have gone around this way. They're only down three guys so far. Still got us at almost three to one odds here. We need to start killing stuff fast. We can kill this artillery vehicle and we can kill this carrier. We can focus fire on these two. Well, we got really got to kill these freaking Nagas too, man. Alright, it's next phase. They're going early on the next phase. They must have a couple of helicopters or something back here. Down to 27. Who do we have going first here? Duck at 25. Alright, well. If we can fire where they're bunched up here. Now, who's... That's this guy. Orion. Castile's not damaged, I don't think. Artillery vehicle. Oh, man. 26. We are going to be out of uh, infernal ammo real quick here. Okay, you got good stability so far. Let's get up a little higher. That'll help a little bit, I think. Um, wow, well, 14, huh? Well, I did sprint, so. <sighs> this is a tough one. Another Dire Star Prime. Well, we'll get some splash damage in the chopper. Beautiful. Good damage. No idea how I did in the Castile, though. Oh, yeah, we got a little bit of damage on him. Okay. Workhorse has got to get up that hill, man. If we didn't have heavy-duty AMS, we'd be in a shit ton of trouble. All right, well, you get the vigilance today. Um,
All right. Okay, let's give this guy a whole lot of fuck you. Actually, can I give him more now? With that turned on? Just barely. Hmm. Let's see if we can shred the leg. We get the leg, we got left arm went off. Okay, well we didn't get the leg, but we blew his arm off, which will really help. Guy's drunk as hell now. Okay, good shooting. We need to get other people out there though. She's just a bad target now. Okay, 23. Who goes next? We got Workhorse and Goofy. We're going to bring Goofy out next, I think, and we're going to hammer this guy with ATMs. He's still in pretty good shape, eh? Um, here's the thing. We could move him up and try and kill this uh, artillery vehicle. Let's get into here. We could shred the hell out of this guy. It's a lot of armor though. Or do we just hand? Oh, I know what we're going to do here. Do 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 do. Here it comes. Multiple targets confirmed. Beautiful. Didn't kill the chopper either, but took some good damage. No, I think we have to drop everything on. Uh, that guy's got four LRM-20s with Thunder. We're shooting most of them down, though. Um, God damn it. Uh, let's get rid of this guy. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Nope. So much friggin' armor. So much armor. Stay back here. Yeah, so damn much armor on that thing. There's not much I can do about it. Heavy max going on 20 is not a good not a good thing. 20 and 19. So Mastodon's next at 21. Yeah, it's more of that's gonna come. That ain't major, buddy. Still coming. Got to get your AMSs up here. Let's go. 
Okay, now, uh... Let's split it up. Here it comes. Roger. Beautiful. Target neutralized. I know it's OP. <laughs> I know I've said it before, but taking advantage of it now that I got it. Especially in a situation like this. This is a hell situation. Jeez. I don't think we're going to be able to pull this one off. I honestly don't. This is like a really bad position we're in here. Okay, how are you doing for stability? You're good. Let's get your asteroid up here a bit. Let's give us some juicy targets to shoot for here. We try and kill this guy. Let's get him out of the battle. Oh shit, you missed with the big one? Yeah, spread it around. Why don't you just spread it around, buddy? Spread that around as much as you can. There's no point hitting the weak points, right? No point hitting those... Oh my god, really? You might... <laughs> just shoot both sides, because that, that's going to do some good. Okay. Yes, Commander. God damn it. Such a bad position. Affirmative. If she doesn't keep firing too, that's a problem. Wow. Pair of Ultra Tens on this guy. <sighs> Alright, we got one hit. I'll take it. Most likely it was on the front, though. No. Fuck. Yeah, don't sound so pleasant about it. You're about to get pasted. Yeah, fuck. Might as well hit everywhere, eh? Ready for order. This one's a fire maneuver. Please kill this thing. Thank you. I'll put your ass on the fucking trash heap in a minute. Okay. Yeah. Oh, man. So we've taken out five guys. That's it. Four vehicles and a mech. By round four. I guess that's not bad. I was hoping to take out two per turn, but of course minus the first turn. They're really getting in tight here. The barrages are going to come in handy as soon as they all get over here. Okay, at least they're shooting uphill. Yeah, it's a fucking big minefield. Hey, we're losing guys. What? She bailed out? Are you kidding me? She bailed out. She freaking bailed out. Oh man, really? <sighs> Damn. 
Just because of thunder ammo? Well, I gotta hit the withdraw button now. God damn it. Well, we can't win them all. That's the thing. And this is a tough one too because they're all focused on one spot. All right, turn five. They're all focused on one spot too, right? So they got we got they have all their firepower coming directly at us. There's no place where we can kind of hide or pick one or two off at a time. I mean, we could if we were down the mountain, but then as soon as they claim this hill, we're done. So I don't know. I mean, maybe it would have been better just to stay down here, kind of use the cover, use the water try and pick them off as they came around the corner but then we'd just get artillery to death too right without any target on the artillery I don't know I mean if we had a second art I mean if we got rid of yeah maybe got rid of the night gear and went with the second archer LRM 70 it maybe maybe yeah Well, you got to hang on for three turns, buddy. All right, we're out. Cascatel, let's... So, I don't know if we can kill this guy. Now they got a lot of guys in here. So let's do this instead. Let's splash it around. Okay, Dire Star took a lot of heat damage. Move up a little bit. Christ. I'm under heavy fire. Yeah, we're gonna back the fuck up in a minute here. Fire back up, fire back up. Well, I'm glad they didn't have a heavy lance up here. Looks like this grip, uh, that looked like a shadow cat. Oh, that was a catapult. All right, looks like that's the reserve or the uh, reinforcement lance. Twenty-five guys, man! They got twenty-five guys. I mean, if we did have five or eight melee mechs, if we could take one mech per turn per melee mech. I don't know. It's a it's an interesting proposition. Let's say they're all 70, well, yeah, 75, 80 tonners. Full engine, like, biggest core we can jam in and with a mask. Maybe. A That's a maybe. I don't know. Oh, this is direct fire. Let's give this guy the fuck you. That's the guy that made Hellion eject. So F you. Have no doubt it will be done. Alright, now we can start targeting guys to wipe them out. Uh thirty one. 40% in the Dire Star. Let's go after him. I think I hit something good. You got that right. Let's move over a little bit. Aye, aye. Get that one Chevron of evasion, because you know that's really going to help.
That's the Orion. It doesn't look like an Orion from here. It looks like a Hellbringer or something. Where is it? That does not look like an Orion to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. I'm here. I probably am. Oof, really? No, I think we need to attack the Highlander. That's the that's the damage dire star. Widowmaker. Naja. Now I think we go after this guy because this guy's really close. Christ. Makes me wish I brought the other one. The Rapical Gabor one. As long as he's not shooting. Ooh. Oh, come on. Okay, that's the Orion. That's the Dire Star. Warhammer. Widowmaker. It's a pretty good chance. We might be able to blow well. It's a lot of armor. Hellbringer. Not that much armor. So it's one of these guys. Well, we could probably try and core this dire star. Save some ammo on this guy. Let's go after him. Engaging target. There we go. Back it up. Back it up. We'll take the minefield damage. Can't afford to not to at this point. Five points. Five points is five points, though. Now, I wonder who's part of this primary lance. Christ, this guy going on 17 is bad news. Okay, that's the Dire Star overheating. Alright, we got some Hydra. I think we should probably drop it on the Widowmaker. Like all of it. See if we can shut him up for a while. Certainly nice and toasty anyway. Try to get more central here a little bit. Help everybody out. So who do we got left here? That was Mastodon. I think it's just Gundal, if I'm not mistaken. He's not in the best position either. I can't remember if we put jump jets on this guy or not. Did we? Yeah, three jets. Could just jump back. All right, well. Phase 18. Oh, I mean, I don't know. We might be able to pull. We'll know more in a couple turns here how we're doing. That guy's heating up bad. It's starting to get quiet. You notice that? Starting to get quiet. And I think that's because... Um, the artillery is gone. Um, let's go after this guy's leg. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Take that leg right off. Have a seat, buddy. There's a whole lot of fuck you for you. We're mad as hell and we're not going to take it anymore. You know what? Let's not move. They can't see you. How come I took one point damage? Did you see that? Like one point. All right, next phase. Phase six. All right. Coming in two rounds. 
this guy's done for. We'll strip his leg. We might, I might go after the Cascatel. I don't know, because he's got eyes on us. This Orion's the net. Well, I don't know. Maybe the Naga's the next target. They still got indirect with the Nagas and stuff. Widowmaker and the Dire Star will receive the arrow fire bombs. Uh, at least we'll drop. Well, you know, we'll drop the arrow. We're gonna keep this hot as hell. Arrow fire bombs in here. We need to get. I got. We need. Bleh, we need to get our tag barrages back up too. If we can get one into here somewhere. Yeah. Alright, the music just cut out. I got a feeling the sound's going to go wonky from this point on. Because it is a jungle map, and I noticed the jungle maps, the sound tends to go a little messy. It might, it might not. We'll find out. Scroll wheel, shooting in and shooting out. Scroll wheel. Um, yeah. Taking that hill is not a priority anymore. I think we're in a position now where we're okay. I'm under heavy fire. Yeah, I know you're under heavy fire. We're all under heavy fire. Dude. Just shut it. Um. Yep. Let's keep them nice and burnt up. Got some splash damage on these guys too. Uh, let's not take any minefield damage. Stay there. This Naga's got his side to us. Infiltrator might hammer this guy. We'll see. I don't know. Oh, he's backing up. He's backing up. Yeah, see what I mean? Like... Warning. Armor breached. Internal yeah. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. You got two more turns of heavy hits, so shut the hell up. Oh, took a hard hit there. Mm-hmm. It's too bad we can't have, like, an anti-arrow missile. A three-ton launcher with a, with a minimum of five shots. 50% 50 50 intercept chance. That would be kind of cool. Then you got to decide, do you want to have a mech that's going to have a couple of those at three tons each? Hopefully intercepting arrows, that'd be kind of nice. Now obviously can't in intercept artillery, but they're direct fire, so... God, look at that internal. Is this guy coming up the hill? He's trying to. Order. A lot of armor. Let's go after the torso. See if we can blow it off. Right arm. Did we get the torso? Maybe. That's a lot of jump jets. I know this sounds weird, or it looks weird, but... Beautiful. That's eyes on, I can't afford at this point. One more for the trash. Cannot afford those eyes on. Alright, you stay right there.
Yeah, we're not going to have the juice for this one. There's no way. Oh, man. Two more turns of Hydra left. This is not a multi-target. We got to go after this guy. He can't get up this hill. He can't get up this hill and actually be able to shoot. That would be very, very, very bad. Spread it out. Spread it out. Right, left. So if I did this, I'd have to go this way. Right. Get some shots on this guy. All right, three hits. We'll take it. Not the best, but we'll take it. So Dallas still has to go. And that's it, right? Nope, we got Goofy still. Um... Ooh, we gotta move first. Oh wait, we got one shot at this guy. Gotta love the one hex jump. Going skyward. Got a couple chevrons of evasion for one hex. That's not bad. Um, Dire Star, I think. This guy's gonna get shredded by uh, Dallas anyway, so let's not worry about that right now. Let's worry about this. Let's worry about this. All right, well, soften him up. Wow, there's no way to shoot that guy without getting exposed completely. Let's do it that way. It's not complete exposure, but it's exposure nonetheless. Let's core this guy and get him out of here. See ya. You junk. Yeah, the audio's getting all wacky. Audio's getting all wacky, but that's alright. We're out of here one more turn. Yeah, artillery's getting quiet now. We just don't have enough armor left to be able to handle these guys. Oh no, you didn't. Oh no, you didn't. A lot of these guys are still fresh, right? That's the problem. These freaking Nagas, man. Okay, so I'm not that worried about the Warhammer 2C. The Orion, eh. 
it's just this guy's taking so much CT damage. I can't really get into a direct conflict with anybody. The Parabarian 2Cs, those guys are, can be scary. If they didn't have the Nagas, I wouldn't be worried. Exterminator, we can rip apart. Direwolf, we can tear apart. The Warhammer, this guy, we can tear apart. Oh, this guy's moving up. He's probably a direct fire guy. God damn it. Alright, I gotta decide next turn if we're leaving or not. See how we do. If we can kill the Dire Star. I don't know. Excuse me. Uh, Nagas don't have that much armor. Very low internal structure. I think at this moment, though, the fear is this guy cresting the hill. But what we can do is really just to heat him up, right? Get a, we'll get some on the Naga too. Let's heat his ass up though. Back up so he can't see if he gets over that hill. If he gets over that hill, man. Unfortunately, he can't see through the smoke here. But if he crests this hill and gets a shot on somebody, it's going to be a really bad day. Fuck. Are you kidding me? Well, the question of whether or not we're leaving has been answered. That was pretty easy. That was a pretty easy answer to that question. Pretty easy answer to that question. God damn it. <sighs> wow, this is a tough battle. You win some, you lose some. I don't know what I could have done differently. I mean, I guess maybe taking them head on, but that wouldn't have done it either because of their indirect. I mean, I don't, I don't know what would really be I don't know wow it's terrible but you know what we gotta stay the freak away from this guy and he's almost over that hill anything that's gonna add instability let's get down here get out of direct line of sight if we can He's taking all the Hydra, though. Wow, the two commanders went down this this turn. Or this, uh, this match. That's really bad. Okay, this guy's unstable. Hopefully we can knock his ass over with some, uh... Some of this goodness. Some Hydra goodness. Enjoy this, motherfucker. Is he going down? Nope. Try and keep everybody under AMS, buddy. It's your job, remember. We're out of Hydra. Out of Hydra. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just that I'm rusty. That could be it. Maybe I didn't push hard enough right at the start. Maybe I should have pushed into here. 
to try and own the battlefield a little more? I don't know. Don't know how much more I could have owned it, though. Um, that's a pretty good shot on this guy. Let's take it. Yep, beautiful. GTFO, man. GTFO. So how many did we get here? Three, six, nine. And they got two of ours. So odds, w odds wise, we did better than expected because it's it was about three to one odds at twenty five to eight, and it's four to we killed four to one, four and a half to one. So, you know, we did okay. If we didn't have any bailouts, this would be a completely different story. But with the bailouts, it's like you know. I'm not risking another mech. Just back it up. We won't get a kill out of that either. So let's just back it up. Let them finish their turn off. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see the map board a little better here. I'll back it up here. So we started off here. I mean, if we push directly this way, the problem is, is that, like I said, their artillery... They had the Hetzacopolopolis and the two Nagas that are dropping arrow on us, plus the, the straight-up artillery vehicle and a couple of LRM carriers, ATM carriers. Right? And they could have just flooded this spot here with minefield and arrow rounds that it would have just shredded us. If we had melee mechs, Right, we could have probably gotten into here probably in the first turn, at which point we're still getting shredded by artillery and stuff here on turn one. And then all of the mechs that were here, the dire stars, there was two of them, they would have all opened up on us. I don't know. I, I, I honestly, I don't know. I'm interested to see your comments in the comment section. I don't know. I, ow, ow. I don't know what we could have done differently. Should we try and get some extra kills out of this? Am I being stupid now? I don't know. I mean, at least with the arrows, we could have kept the Dire Star overheated if we decided to stay. See, now they're going to claim the hill, right? They're pushing the hill. We just weren't fast enough to get up there. The 300 tonners that we have, just not fast enough to do anything, and they lagged behind. Then they became unstable, and then they had to walk, and then it was just like a nightmare. I guess if we had tried to sprint around this way to get up here, but then we would have just been subject to all the arrow attacks. I don't know. It's a tough choice. Um, yeah. Well, at least we penetrated. Barely. Get that one chevron. It's very important. Ooh, we didn't get one. Ooh. Yeah, I miss protecting people, though. That's the catapult, I think. Yeah, because as you can see right now, they don't have the, they don't have the artillery anymore, with the exception of the arrow mechs. It's gotten a li gotten really quiet for the damage for us. But as you can see, the attrition, right? And then you get into the direct fire mechs, and it just would have been like the dire stars would have been they would have just shredded us. What do you think, buddy? Really bad chance to hit, but we're going to just fire on this guy. I don't think we're going to get a kill on this guy this turn, but... Now 
All right. Yeah. So we killed what? Three, six, nine. We're down to 16. Six against 16, almost three to one odds. Can't do it, there's no way. We're not getting lucky on this guy. There's no way. But at least we stopped him from cresting that hill. All right, we're done. We got no more artillery. Oh, well. I don't like the fact that we sacrificed two mechs to get nine. I think I could have handled it if it was, you know, two mechs to get 20. But still, we got to pull. We're going to pull out. We're going to take a lot of money damage, but that's fine. Look at this. All right, minus 825,000 plus the four. Oh, that was leopard repair cost. So that is the, the total cost. <sighs> wow. Yep, they don't like us now. <laughs> Not much we could do about that. Zero experience. You should get experience even if you even if you had to pull out, but it should be a percentage. So this guy had no arm. We lost tons of head components. God, really? Yeah, we got five long time ammo, because isn't that gonna be useful? Wow. <laughs> Let's get the repairs going. <laughs> One in point four million. Ouch. So we lost like like two point two million, two point three million on that. <laughs> oh man, we're gonna have to sell a bunch of stuff to be able to function. <laughs> okay, well, what do we got left? Not a whole lot. Looks like we gotta take some lower end missions. I don't. Th we're not anywhere close to being ready for that other uh, that other mission. There's no way. Okay, so what we're going to have to do, I think, ah, oh man, I got to really think about this now. I think I want to retool all the mechs, honestly. I think what I want to try for is two heavy, hard-hitting close-up mechs, most likely the Atlases, and if we can get the Juggernaut Gyro, whatever, the, ex the heavy Gyros, they give it more stability. Um, we'll get both atlases going that way. Or maybe it's the... Well, we can't... See, the problem is we can't add that to the kaiju. Or the king... Or, sorry, not the king crab. The uh, I was thinking of the close-in... Uh, the go the close-in goss mech. But we can't add a, a gyro to that. So it'd have to be the king crab, the atlases, and that's it. And this guy's a PPC boat, so... It would have to be the two atlases that would have to be the juggernaut mechs. Then we'd need the long range pinpoint mechs, which would probably be the direwolf. And maybe the, the king crab. And then four artillery mechs. Two of them with artillery and AMS. And two of them with just artillery, which would be arrows probably. Um, yeah, I don't know, like, 25 versus 8, it's like 3 to 1 odds, and if that assassinate mission, like, the main mech is going to be a, a, a murderous nightmare, especially when it says in the notes, dangerous, right? <laughs> Yeah, all right. Well, I'm going to have to sell a bunch of crap just to be able to make financial statement and get these mechs back into play. This is going to take a while, I think. Uh, i got to decide what we want back, what we're going to be playing with for the next little bit. Let's bring these guys down. 
let's get the easy mechs done first. Uh, bring the lone wolf up. We want the lone wolf, we want the Zeus back. Uh, the night gear AMS definitely. Then that'll switch off. Yeah. Yep, I think we go this route. Let's bring this... Uh, I don't know. That's 13, 11, 14, and 12. So 12 days, the Kaiju will be in. Yeah, it's not going to matter that much. It's still going to be a whole month before we can get everything back. It's going to be a whole month. How close are we to the financial report? 18 days. So, not too bad. We'll get some stuff back and see what we do, where we go from there. I don't know. We may have to cannibalize. But, anyway. I'm going to leave this episode. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you got any comments, please put them in the comment section down below. I'd like to, like to hear your, your thoughts on mech loadouts and what I might have been able to do different the, the might have been able to do differently in that battle. And also your thoughts on like I know we're not gonna do it for this one because these are clans, but later on we're gonna need to figure out how we're gonna run an eight mech lance against something like that. So open to everything. Anything you could possibly think of. Now Osmium obviously is gonna be different. Um so leaving off things like, you know, like tag barrages and stuff like that because they're going to operate differently. But I mean, maybe I guess we'll, I guess it'll really depend on early in the series how the melee is going and stuff. But well, well, I don't know. Just drop your comments in the comment section down below. All right. Until next time, we'll see you later.